So today we're going to learn about ratio tables. So we're on workbook page 40. Pause the video if you need to. First, we're going to talk about some definitions. So the table below is called a ratio table because the columns are filled with pairs of numbers that have the same ratio. So 1 to 3 is equal to 2 to 6 is equal to 3 nines because all of these simplified equal 1 third. Equivalent ratios express the same relationship between quantities. So again, all of these ratios are equivalent because when simplified, they all equal the same thing. Now on the top of page 41, we're going to talk about scaling. So if you multiply or divide two related numbers by the same number, that's called scaling. Sometimes you may need to scale backwards and then scale forward to find an equivalent ratio. So that means sometimes you might need to simplify a ratio and then multiply the ratio to get equivalent ratios. And we're gonna do examples of this next. So now we're on page 42 and we're gonna do these guided practice problems together. So you're writing these in your workbook as I'm writing them in mine. Complete each ratio table to solve each problem. So number one, Santiago receives an allowance of $7 every week. How much total does he receive after four weeks? So here's our ratio table. So we can make equivalent ratios. So we have 7, 14, 21, 28, and then 1, 2, 3, 4. So when the number of weeks is 4, his allowance is 28. So the answer would be 28. Another way we could have done this is we could have just went right from 1 to 4 by multiplying by 4, and then we would have also multiplied 7 by 4. That's scaling. So we could have jumped right to the 4. Number two, Tanya runs eight kilometers in 60 minutes. At this rate, how long would it take her to run two kilometers? So just like in the last problem, we could try going right from eight to two. So I know to get from eight to two, I would have to divide by four. So then I could do the same thing to the 60 because we have to keep it equivalent. We have to do the same thing. This is scaling. 60 divided by 4 gives us 15. So in 15 minutes, the distance is 2 kilometers. So it says how long would it take her to run? So it would take her 15 minutes. Number 3, Lamika buys 12 packs of juice boxes that are on sale and pays a total of $48. Use a ratio table to determine how much Lamika will pay to buy eight more packs of juice boxes at the same store. So she buys 12 packs for $48. So 12 packs of juice boxes for $48. We want to know how much more will she pay to buy eight packs. So we want to go from a ratio of 12 to a ratio of 8. Notice that there's nothing we could divide 12 by to get to 8. So this is when we first need to simplify and then multiply. So 12 over 48 can be simplified to 1 fourth because you could divide both of those by 12. 12 divided by 12 is 1. 48 divided by 12 is 4. Think of it as a fraction. 12 28 You could simplify that to 1 fourth. Now from 1 fourth, I can get to 8. I know to go from 1 to 8, I would multiply by 8. So I could do the same thing to 4. That's called scaling. 4 times 8 gives us 32. So it says... How much will Amika pay for eight boxes of juice? She would pay $32.